As you guys may see in some of my videos or have followed me for a while, you may know that I have done Braille. I actually made some videos about it of what I do in Braille and I really enjoyed it. Only weakness I can think is has to be the reading part. Writing is my strength and I really enjoyed doing the writing bit. When assistive technology came in, this is what I do like and there are two things. I want to show you guys. But the first one I'm going to show you guys is the traditional braille machine. Thinking about starting braille, this is going to be the machine. Now, it can be quite heavy as well because of the mechanical keys and these sliding that makes the ping. And you have to put the paper on top of it by winding, lifting this up, winding that. Just the paper goes in. That can be a little bit pain and a bit of fiddle. Because of its weight, you wouldn't be surprised to take it everywhere with you. You can just simply leave it on one side, like on the table, or even in your classroom if you're learning or being taught how to use the braille machine or learning how to read braille. That could be something. But when assistive technology comes in, unlike any traditional braille machine, this has got to be the right one. Plus, it can actually talk to you if you interact with the keyboard, and I really liked it. I also liked its portability, meaning that I can take it anywhere, especially at class or at home. I can do braille work on there. I can even, like, browse through files, play games, listen to music. I can do anything on just one device. I can also connect USB drives and save files on there. Probably some models from HumanWare that do come with cartridges which you can expand memory but mostly they have its own internal memory or something and another cool thing is you can actually connect to your monitor which you can see what you've written other than using the braille display which can be a little bit tricky followed by printing it off from the embosser or just a normal printer using a usb cable now i've got one more thing to show you guys and i'll tell you what this has to be my favorite one but because this looks like a standard burner it's even better because the keyboard is more smooth and more easy to type with but with the touch screen like really guys this is my favorite burner device and because of the touch screen it does run on android meaning that you can browse through the internet read emails and even do word documents you can also browse through files you can pretty much do any anything all on one device just like what you do on a standard burnout but even better and the best thing i love about it is the ability to connect to a monitor but with a hdmi cable and i also like the feeling that you can actually type so smoothly with using the keyboard as i just showed you unfortunately because of the touch screen i have to use 10 fingers but i can't really do it i'm pretty sure some of you guys who are watching this video could do it but for me probably not if you're thinking to get one for yourself including the keyboard as well i'm telling you guys it is going to get expensive if you get these two however if i had the overall choice i think i'm going to go for the burnout touch because of how portable it is how useful it is and how smooth it really is when it comes to typing and stuff that is my favorite sort of device